classic stern and Bally lamp driver board and a classic stern from a, a wildfire, I believe. Or no, I forgot what game it is. Um, solenoid regulator board. And on this board, I have replaced the uh, high voltage trim pot, the five volt filter cap. I've updated the grounds on the back of the board and I have replaced all of the headers all the way around for excellent connections. This uh, big ugly cap up here is in the high voltage section for the displays that never needs to be changed out. So let's power it on. I have it, the Alltech board set to Stern Stargazer. And the reason I use that one is because it, um, it turns the solenoids on all in order. So let's put it in a test. I'll let that go past one more time because I missed the uh, first solenoid turning on. There it is. The one that it skips, it's number 15, I believe, is the flipper solenoid, and you can hear it clicking on. Displays are doing what they should be doing. And I've got a couple of lamp test boards connected here. And this board had three or four blown 2N 5064s or 5060s. Uh, the light or the LED at the top of this one here is not supposed to be turned on at this point in time. So let me move this uh, test device up to the top one here. And those three that are not lighting are not supposed to light for this particular connector, which is J1, I think. I hate the way Bally and Stern labeled these things. So these two boards are good to go. I'm going to send them on back and uh, the game that they are in should be good to go. Thanks for sending them.